So I got my Jackery 300 here. I've only used it once camping. I wanted to test it out, make sure it worked, and surprisingly, it did not work very well. All this hype about Jackeries and these YouTubers with their van life. I have my anchor. This is a quick charge cable, 60 watt cable, I believe. These were two pack for 20 bucks. I have my anchor. This is a 32 watt brick, so that's not a problem because that's right. It's splits in half, so the max you're gonna get is like 15 watts, which makes sense. That's what's doing. Uh, Anchor has a faster one, I believe it's like a 60 watt one, and that one, if you're only using one port like this, it'll give you the full 60 watts. This, no matter what, splits in half, so take that out of the equation, turn this back off, you can see everything's working zero. I already emailed them about my warranty, and this is supposed to be 60 watts. I have an L up to in and out, right? So I bought this to charge my phone faster and my Jackery charge my jackery and the phone that's why i bought two of these cables the two pack and this on amazon well this one as you're going to see it's pretty pathetic you get plugged in so you're looking at it correctly i've only charged this thing once from 100 percent, and that's all i'm getting for watts so yeah as you can see i'd be pretty pissed too if you paid 250 dollars plus tax for this thing and you're getting that many watts from a 60 watt charger that's the main reason I bought this, because this one I can charge my phone faster. I can charge the Jackery faster on this too. So at the same time, boom. So that's crazy. So the idea was to take this cable, plug in here, because it's in and out, power delivery 60 watts, and then plug this in the wall and charge the Jackery faster, but. It might charge faster through this way to the wall, but as far as just a micro or USB-C to USB-C to my phone, that's ridiculous. It's advertised 60 watts. If you watch my other video, I think when I was camping, I plugged in the regular USB-C port, micro USB port right here, and it was basically doing the same amount of watts, which is ridiculous. This one's supposed to be so much faster. So I don't know if they messed up when they made this and just put two... 2.4 amps up here and here and did it wrong and forgot to put the but Regardless I emailed them they email back you have to give them the serial number on the bottom your shipping information the date you purchased it your email all that stuff so wait and hear back from them because Obviously it, the return window is passed on Amazon, but these have I believe a three-year warranty on them so This is gonna be used for emergencies only because you can only charge these I think uh I want to say 50 times. Yeah, I think it's 50 times. 50 or 500, I don't know. You got to But you can only charge it up and uncharge it like 50 times. So this is going to be charged and kept in my closet. That way, if we have versions, I could just take this and my plugs and go. But I wanted to test the camping, and obviously, it did not work out so well. So Anchor has one, which is really nice. And everything I own, Anchor is nice. So I was going to buy that one. But. This is an 8mm port for a solar panel, so the anchor didn't have as easy of connection. And over here, right here, I have my Renogy 100 watt panel, which plugs in here via some cables that I bought too. So that way I can supply at least 100 watts if I get, you know, full sun or whatever. But the main reason I bought this is because the 60 watt port, and I left it near like an hour and plus and wouldn't even reach. I'd be lucky if it gets past 10. So all the Jackery hype, I, I, I don't know what the deal is with these things. Uh, I wish the return window wasn't passed for Amazon before I went camping because I would have returned this and got the Anchor one. Because the Anchor one had three IQ ports and I think two of these. Now, I don't think it had an 8mm port, so that would have been confusing because I already had bought my solar panel and stuff, so that would have been a pain. But if this thing's not working like it's supposed to, that's kind of shitty. So... There's the truth about Jackery. 60 watt port? Nope. I don't think so. Not in my lifetime have I seen this. I've taken camping, tested it out for hours. I mean, it wouldn't even get 15 watts. I mean, as you can see, it's max pulling in 10 watts. So that's crazy. And you can look up the specs on my phone. It's an LG G8 Thin Q. It does quick, fast charging. And I even bought the Anchor 2 pack fast charging cable. That way I can charge my phone and a Jackery on this anchor, which I also bought that was not cheap. 
<clears throat> yeah. So they have if you see those on Amazon, there's two that are like this that have dual USB C ports. This is the slower one, they have a faster one. Now, the slower one, I think it's 32 watts, I believe. And if you're only it splits it in half, so it'll be like 15 or 16 each port. Whatever the specs are online, but <coughs> the problem with this one is if you're just using one <coughs> If you're just using one, it's still going to split it in half. If you get the higher anchor one, the 60 watt one, if you just use one port, all that power goes to that one port. So if you're looking for a super insanely fast one for like laptops and stuff, get the higher one. But this one that was just used my phone, and I thought it was going to be for my Jackery too, but I can charge my Jackery on here. I'm going to see how many watts I can get from that and plug my phone. So let's do that now because that one's not getting too much. So. 10 watts, as you can see, everything works perfectly. It's at zero. So, you're going to plug the USB C in here. It's going to be a one take, so you can not, not edit the video or anything. It's going to go down here to my pluggy plug. And we're going to see how many watts it gets plugged in. So, I'm plugged into the anchor. And let's see how many. So, you can see that anchor works because that's what it's doing. It's it splits in half, so it's a 32 watt anchor brick. But if you're using one, you only get up to 15 or 16, I believe, at max watts. It might be a 24, I'm not sure, but there's two versions of the anchor. But as you can see, that works. It's thinking I'm plugging in that, which makes no sense. I don't know why that light's on, but it's just in and output. So as you can see, my jacker is going up. So that's the reason why I bought the anchor because it'll charge us much faster. And then I have an extra port, so I can plug this in the outlet, and I can also plug my phone in the anchor outlet. But it just, I mean, it's still usable to charge this, but if I take it somewhere, the whole idea was just to bring cables and not to bring my anchor brick. So, I would literally have to bring my anchor brick and plug in here. Which kind of defeats the whole purpose. But, everything works in here, brand new, used at once, but it's being returned to Jackery because I didn't pay almost $300 with tax and stuff. If I can't even use the port, that's crazy. They had a cheaper one which didn't have the 60 watt port, but I went, I opted to pay more for the newer one because it had this. I could have just got the older one. If it's not going to give me 60 watts, that's ridiculous. So, there it is. Jackery hype. I don't know if you guys have the same issue, but and these are pure sine wave too, which is also why I got these ones. Some are modified so anyway, but this is the one you want for your to keep your electronics nice and safe. So there he is. There she is. Going back. Used it once. Now twice. Still at 88% from when I charged it the first time. Yay! Not